Hey guys, it's the Chad. Now in a couple of my previous videos, I went through and talked to you guys about all the different types of truck rally wheels that GM had to offer. Also went through and showed you guys how to restore a set. Well, since I made those videos, I've got quite a few questions about the center caps, specifically the six lug flavor. Now, instead of just answering these questions one by one, I decided to make another video where I walk you guys through all the different types of center caps that came on these truck rallies. And if you stick around to the end, You'll see how to go through and take an old worn out set of caps and make them look like new again, just for a few bucks. Well, a couple weeks ago, one of my buddies hit me up after he watched my cheap rally wheel restoration video and said, hey, can you find me a set of 15 by eight truck rallies for my old ride? And I said, sure. Why? Because I'm a nice guy. Now, he's got a 1969 GMC 1500, and it took me a few weeks to find him a good set, but I did. Now, I've been working on these for about the last week, and I've got the wheels almost finished up, but I've run into a problem. What? The center caps. Now, what I was really looking for was going to be a set of all-metal, all-original, six-lug GMC center caps. Well, it wasn't going to happen. Why? Because GM never made those. So now, I've got to go to plan B. So why don't we start off with a little GM fun fact history. Now, most of us know that GM produced three different types of center caps for the five lug rallies. Now, the five lugs were for two wheel drives. Now, we know that they produced the Chevrolet and a GMC, but what about this guy? Have any of you guys seen one like this before? Now, this still is a five lug center cap, but it looks different than this one. You can tell this one is completely smooth around the cone it doesn't have any cutouts for the lug nuts or recessions, and where's the mounting holes? Now, if you flip this guy over and look on the back, you can see that this one actually mounts from the back side. You would take these screws out, mount them through the back of the rally wheel and into the back of the cap. Who knew? Now, there's several people out on the interwebs that believe that these came off the early 1973 truck rallies. Others think they came off of a van. Now, if you know, Type it down in the old clickety-clack. What year it was off of, and did it come on a truck or a van? I don't know, I can't find the answers, and I'm sure there's several people out there that would like to know. Is this thing worth like a million dollars and we just don't know it? I doubt it. So now let's talk about the six lug center caps that GM had to offer. Now the six lugs were for four wheel drive wheels only, hence the four x four center cap or the open face for the fronts for the four wheel drive assemblies to slide into. Now, this is where I get a lot of questions. Guys ask me, how the heck are guys putting these four x four rally wheels and center caps onto their 67 to 70 C10s, which are two wheel drives? Well, that's pretty easy. If you think back, all the 67 to 70 C10s were six lugs. So we just had to take these four x four rallies, mount them up and do some type of modification to the center caps. Now that modification would be just removing these 4x4 stickers and replacing them with an aftermarket Chevy bow tie or GMC emblem. And then the fronts, we would need to go through and replace these caps with a full face, that way they match. Now if you stick around to the end of this video, I'm going to show you guys a way to modify these so you don't have to go through and buy a new set. So to make everything work out for my buddy's 1969 GMC two-wheel drive, I had to go out and find a set of 15 by 8 six lug four x four truck rallies and a set of full faced four wheel drive six lug center caps that I'm going to have to modify. Now, I know this may be a little bit overwhelming, but once you put it all together, it's clear as mud. Now to get started cleaning up these center caps, I like to go through and get rid of this argent silver, this painted gray that's on the base of these center caps. I think it looks so much better being all chrome and it really pops once it's back onto the wheel. Now to get this off, I just take some quad zero steel wool and a little bit of carb cleaner, spray it on here and start buffing it off. Now, probably shouldn't be doing this in the wife's kitchen on the countertop, but it's like 14 degrees outside and I don't want to get cold. And she doesn't watch my videos, so I think I'm pretty safe. So let's get started. Now it doesn't hurt you at all to go through and wear a pair of rubber gloves, but I don't. So just go through here and start buffing it on. Just a little bit of pressure and that, and that silver just really will come off quickly. So I've got all this silver paint off this half of the wheel and you can already see what a big difference that makes. Now I'll follow that up with some 
Brasso polishing wadding, or you can go through with some Mother's Mag and Aluminum polish with just a cloth to clean any residual paint or anything else on it that you got. Buff this on, let it sit for a few minutes. You can get pretty aggressive with it since you don't have any steel wool, you're just using a rag, but you're just trying to get this as clean as you possibly can. Then when it hazes, we'll come through and just buff it off. So now you can see how much this has already transformed the center cap, just with a little bit of polish and carb cleaner. So now that we've got this center cap all polished up, we're ready to go through and remove the 4x4 decal. So you can get a small knife, small screwdriver, whatever it may be, and we're just going to want to start prying up this center cap. Now, it's got probably 40, 50 years of adhesive stuck behind it, so this may not be the easiest thing to get off. Now these things are harder to get off than you think. They're kind of made of a little bit of metal in there and be careful not to slice your fingers open, but it's off. So now you're gonna be left with this uh, glue or adhesive residue. So we need to go through and try to scrape that off. I like to go through and use a little bit of Goo Gone or whatever adhesive remover you guys got, but we'll get that cleaned up and keep on going. So once you guys get your center caps all cleaned up, it's time to go through and order new decals or stickers. But before you go to LMC Truck, Classic Parts, eBay, or even Amazon, you need to make sure you're ordering the right one for your type of cap. Now, if you have a six lug cap, you need to ensure that you're ordering a three and a half inch decal or sticker. Now, if it's a five lug, it's only gonna be a two and a half inch. Now, you can order these in a Chevy bow tie or the GMC. Now, my buddy for his truck, he wanted to go through and use these black and red GMC decals that we found on Amazon and it was really a good deal, 15 bucks for a set of these. Now they also offered some that looked very similar to this silver and red original type, but he elected to go with the black, so that's what we're gonna use. So let's go through and put one of these on and see how it turns out. So we got the first one on and man, that looks great. But you guys can't tell the difference. Was it this one or this one? It's, yeah, pretty tough, right? Now, if you guys don't wanna go through the hassle of cleaning up a set of these center caps, you don't have to. You can go online and buy a brand new set of these chrome plastic reproduction ones off of Amazon for anywhere between 65 and 85 bucks, just depending if it's a five or a six lug. But I did, I looked for a set of reproduction six lug GMCs and I couldn't find any out there. I don't know if they just don't make them or I can't find them, but I also just like to keep things original and not have to throw stuff in the junkyard too. But it's all a personal preference. So I've got a little bonus for you guys here on these open face six lug center caps. Now, earlier I told you guys that you would have to replace these open faced ones if you're putting these on a two wheel drive. Now that's true, but you can do some modifications or alter these a little bit and make them work. Now, if you take a look at this bow tie center cap here, this is actually an open face four wheel drive cap. What they've done is gone through and put a piece of aluminum or metal in the back, got some sheet metal screws and wedged it in there and put a little hot glue around here. Does it work? Yes, it does. Now, if you guys wanna blast from the past and step back into the 1970s, you can also go through and put these mirrors in here. Yeah, so just run down to AutoZone or O'Reilly's, pick you up a three and a half inch peep mirror, slide it in from the back side, hot glue it there, hot glue it here, and you're in business. I mean, this looks just like factory. Nope, but it's an option, just not an option that I would ever use. So now we've finished up and I've showed you guys all the different types of center caps that would have come on these GM truck rallies. I've also showed you guys how to modify them and how to clean up a set. We're able to take a center cap that looked like this and transform it into one that looked like that. All for a few bucks. Now if you guys enjoyed this video or just didn't think it was complete garbage, please smash the like button and subscribe. That way I can make more videos like this one. And if you guys have any more fun facts about these GM truck rallies or center caps, please type it down in the old clickety-clack. That way, we all know what they are. I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching.